investment fund management space or to evaluate the performance of uh, various uh, securities they are the money weighted as well as time weighted kind of returns right two different forms of computing the rate of return on the investment especially when i have different time periods right these two things make a difference especially when uh, i make my investment over a multiple time period and uh, the cash flows are different at different points in time cash flows at different time points it's not a one time investment right there are some cash inflows and outflows occurring at uh, different points in time some new investment added some existing investment pulled out and uh, uh, the the returns are, and the fund values values are computed at different points in time so once uh, once we have this kind of uh, different time and uh, different cash flows as well as different time periods of investment as long as we have different cash flows and different time periods of investment whatever the returns we are computing we can classify them as a money weighted versus a time weighted kind of a return right so the, the key difference that exists between them as far as the money weighted return is concerned right money weighted rate of return as far as this money weighted rate of return is concerned it is it is purely based on <coughs> the cash that is getting invested or withdrawn so probably if i am investing some x now i am investing some x now let's say for a 3 year period okay 1 plus r cube after at the end of 3 years it is going to become x into 1 plus r cube probably let's say after 1 year <coughs> some y got invested in the project so what we are saying is y into 1 plus r squared probably 6 months uh, before <coughs> 3 years let's say after 2 and a half years when there is only 6 months more left probably let's say some z got invested so 1 plus r cube 1 plus r to the power 0.5 because there is only 0.5 months still left for the completion of the project so <coughs> when there are different cash flows that are getting invested into the project for and their time durations are different what we are saying is this entire thing should be equal to the final value of the project whatever it is so from here whatever the rate i am able to compute whatever the rate i am able to compute wherein the future value the better way to put it the future value or the accumulated value of all cash flows the accumulated value of all cash flows till the maturity period equating it to the actual fund value on that accumulation date whatever that rate of return that makes both of them equal is what is the money weighted rate of return see sometimes uh, people also look at it the other way that gets defined is it is nothing but it's the irr of the project either the present values of all cash future cash flows should be equal to zero or we are talking about the future value of all cash flows should be equal to the 
fund value. So in these cases, whatever is that particular rate of return that makes this happen is what is called as a money weighted rate of return because the weightage is given more to the money. If large cash flows, if large cash flows uh, are uh, carrying more interest, we will have the money weighted rate of return generated more versus small cash flows exposed to a particular rate of return. So the large cash flow to a particular rate of return, you will see that that rate of return will be very closer to the money weighted rate of return. So the weightage is given more to the cash flows here. So that particular return where cash flows are very high, you will see that the money weighted rate of return will be more compared to the time weighted rate of return because when we see the way time weighted rate of return gets computed, the time weighted rate of return, the weightage is given to the time of investment. So at every point in time, let's say before, in the same example earlier, okay, there was X that was invested for a three year period. Then after one year, Y got invested for a two year period and after one and a half more years, Z got invested for a 0.5 year period. So this was the only information that was sufficient uh, for computing the money weighted rate of return. Of course, the final fund value is what uh, I would require to, to find out what is that uh, rate of return over this entire investment period. But for computing the time weighted rate of return, okay, there is a cash flow change from uh, in, in this one year. X, X has been invested for the first year. I want to know before Y got added, right? This is what, before Y got added, what was the total what was the total value of this x? Probably x, x plus some a. I mean, before I added y to the y to the list, y to the investment, how much did x generate? Similarly, okay. Now the fund value is x 